handsome gorgeous people how are you thank you for joining me my name is Demi and welcome to the vault yes you're through to the very first edition of the vault the vault you ask what is the vault oh well the vault is an entertainment show which focuses on fashion food music art culture everything in one spot but guess what we do it a little bit differently oh yes we talk politics yes but not politics the traditional way but politics with a bit of fun no one else does this but the vault wittingday.com a social entertainment and e-commerce community comes to nigeria membership is free register online all you need is a valid email address and a mobile number interested merchants for online shop space should apply by email to admin at waiting-day.com say waiting day mama hope you're doing okay mama it's brand new. i'm in the mood for dancing <laughs> Okay, well, as you can see, I'm excited. I'm excited because to kick off this very first edition of the program, we're focusing on something which excites most people, and that includes me. It's also considered to be a universal language. You guessed it, it's music. Music, however, as pertaining to Nigeria. Nigerian music, as some of you may have noticed, has grown in leaps and bounds. It is amazingly popular right now, and so it is no longer contained along the borders of Nigeria or Africa alone, it has been transported. A lot of people have theories on what caused this uh, amazing popularity, but that means we have to discuss it. It's as called for some discussion, and I wanna do that today. I wanna kick this show off with that. And to help me do that, to discuss this topic with me, I have someone who is a Nigerian music buff, he, he is also a Nigerian music promoter as well as the owner of a Nigerian music online portal which is called WaitingDay.com. His name of course is Akimayowa. I can tell you. Akimayowa Akintoye. This is the guru I was talking about. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Thank you so much for joining us on the boat. You're welcome. It's a very interesting topic, wouldn't you say? Yes, music is, as, it's, as you said earlier, it's a universal language. It is very, 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 very communicative. Right. So, what would you say, how would you describe Nigerian music to you? What is Nigerian music? Ah, Nigerian What's music, uh, it's a life, it's a lifesaver, it's a life changer, and it's a, it's a part of my life, personally, because it's, uh, it's helped and it's uh, it's it's been there when uh, when you know when you when you need it the most. It's a mood changer. Okay, let me put it this way. Maybe I should rephrase it. Okay, what is Nigerian music in terms of how would you say like for instance, if you say American music, you think of hip hop, mm -hmm. you think of R and B, you think of rock, yeah. right? But what if can we say there's a definition or there is a description of Nigerian music? Well. Music, as I said, is universal. So the genres, as we know them in America, the R&B, the hip hop, the raga, the reggae, those rock, they they still they, they still remain in in the Nigerian context. The only fundamental difference is we have added additional genres to to that to those genres as they currently exist, and they are juju. There, there's um, Afro beats. Uh, there is uh, high life. You know, there's Makosa. So there, there, are, there are additional genres which um, perhaps people don't pay much attention to. They just sort of categorize them under one name, which I don't think is fair on the other. What name the, is that? Afrobeats. Which, really? Yeah. So you think they, call, they categorize Juju and Fuji in the same bracket as Afrobeat? Well, to, to a Westerner who doesn't know anything about... African music, music Nigerian yeah. music, they see everything as Afrobeat. Afro when yeah. in fact, um, you know, when you speak to someone who's a bit more familiar with it, mm. he'll be able to tell you that um, Afrobeat it's isn't a universal it's... name for uh, African music. Okay. It's, it's, it's a particular type of genre okay. music. And I personally believe that genre is with uh, Fela Kuti, who was the originator of Afrobeat. Um, but 
as I said, Nigerian music has evolved, and you know there are other genres which should be given, uh, I suppose, a bit more recognition than they are at the moment. Okay, that's a bit contentious. You know, we could go into Afrobeat because I have my own personal view of what Afrobeat is or what Nigerian music is and all of that. But since you're the Nigerian music buff, I thought you know maybe you should give us you know a bit of your own insight. But that is not the cocoa of the matter that we want to focus on today. We want to focus on the evolution. I say when I say evolution, some say ah. This one is evolution. Why is that big language? Okay, let's focus on the popularity, right? Mm -hmm. Nigerian music has been popular. Yes, it's popular. I mean, Very now, popular. now, do you know what? When you even go to, when I go to store, I went to the top shop the other day, mm -hmm. and I heard Nigerian music. I can't remember the song that was playing, and I just couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. What has been responsible for this, you know, um, sudden or what has been responsible for this popularity of Nigerian music in the West, for instance, in the UK? Two words can sum up the answer to that question you mm -hmm. just asked. One is creativity and the other is tremendous talent. There is just so much talent bursting from Nigeria. Are you saying that we didn't have that before now? We did, but we didn't know how to project ourselves to other people. We were not uh, as patriotic, I would say, as we, we, we were uh, then now. Really? I think we, I think we were more inward focused, but now um, you know, back in the day, back when I was growing up, yeah. if you were not a doctor, a, an engineer, mm. uh, you know, you know, one of the high grade professions, you, you weren't really going anywhere. But, you know, today, I think the perception is different, certainly amongst the parents uh, bringing up teenagers today. Um, if a child tells, her, tells him, you know, the parent right. that um, they want to go into music, no one's going to say, no. <laughs> mm, that's true. But, you, but you know that even... Boy, okay, I agree with you to a certain extent. But we had the likes of um, Obey and Sonia Day. They won awards or even made the queen for their craft. So mm -hmm. you can't say that... You, you, I mean, we're not just getting into the limelight now. We have been doing it before. So you can't say that. I think Nigerian music has been celebrated for longer than now. I just think it's because now... It could, wouldn't you say it's because we're now more embracing of western culture in our music like we now we 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 redefine hip-hop like we sing hip hop, we sing rap in our own you know uh mother tongue and probably mm. that's the reason why it is it has you know well, been read more accepted I think in the west music music has evolved Let, let's leave africa for a moment and let's look at the american hip-hop scene mm -hmm. or the american music scene if you, if you would notice the songs that we used to listen to the 80s music mm -hmm. that we used to listen to is somewhat different from the 90s and the noughties. So there's been an evolution of music within the American industry um, of, you know, the kind of music that they used to listen to, you know. So there's been a, there's been a transition there. And likewise, um, with the importation of cheap software, mm. I won't call it so, so much cheap, but mm. the understanding of how to use proper music mixing software, you know, producers within Nigeria have been able to use that to uh, to uh, celebrate or to show their own talent, you know, with the limited resources that we've had, Nigerians have still been able to create tremendous music, um, which uh, appeals to a wider audience. Do you know? I have another theory for this. Mm. I think it's very due to the fact that there are more Nigerians now in the diaspora than there was in the past. Because you know, prior pre um, prior to now or in the last two generations our parents would only come to the uk to places like the uk or the united states just to study and then immediately after they studies they return back home mm. but now we have economic migrants from africa that come mm. to the west and stuff like that so because there are more of us now coming here to the west you know we now crave more for things back home and we're the ones that actually promote you know the nigerian music i think it's because we are more here and we promote I, this song i wouldn't agree entirely with that view i mean i tend to go to Nigeria quite a lot and um, na in Nigeria, music in Nigeria, Nigerian music is pretty much everywhere now. I mean there's always, there's been a mentality. But what is responsible for that? What well, is the, reason? Well, the, 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 the fundamental responsibility is the need for people to listen to things that are different. Um, I'll give you an example. When Timaya came out with his very first album, um, which um, was quite good. Mm. He, what he did was he used uh, influences from established Nigerians mm -hmm. to promote that album, to actually uh, develop and deliver that album. And that, you know, that, that 
put him on the map basically. So Timaya is saying Timaya is probably responsible for this outburst. Or no, this? no, 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 no. He's a, he, he's definitely a contributor to to the effects. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of artists, younger artists today, are inspired by Timaya. But there's so many artists who have. Timaya, what about Two Face? They, that's that, that's the point. I think I'm trying it started to, from Two Face. It, it didn't start from Two Face. As a matter of fact, it. <laughs> There, I mean, there are loads of names that, if, if we should start mentioning names, there's so many people who have inspired other artists. I mean, the likes of Charlie Boy, who kind of was one of the first people who funkified, you know, music in a sense. Mm. Um, you know, with his very different... Charlie Boy. Charlie Boy. Charlie Boy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Charlie Boy. The likes of Charlie Boy, the likes of Fela Kuti, who, again... Now you're talking. Fela brought, Kuti. Ah, we brought, all know Fela Kuti. A, brought a different, different sort of design to to music and how to how to project oneself um and you know there's Raski Mono the you know the mandators who were you know started a pop like culture oh, yes. of Nigerian music and 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 that has that has moved sing very song rapidly of sing, sing one of Raski Mono's songs sing I want to know if you really know what you're talking about Robert Dumpster. Hey, I can't I can't sing I'm trying to remember there's one hey. I can't, you have I can't, to remember I, 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 Rusty it, Mono's it, song. It's very hard to remember those okay. songs. We're talking about songs in the early 90s. No, Do you know what year we're you, in? You, you tell me that you're a Nigerian music buff, or I think you're a Nigerian music buff. So you can't tell me, you can't, you can't just name drop without giving me a tune. Rumba okay, style, a rumba style, style. Now you're talking. Rumba, rumba. Oh, there's another one. What about the Mandators? Uh, yes, Mandators. Yeah, wow. Yes, <laughs> there, There's Rat Race. Yeah. The Rat Race Star, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to survive. Oh my yeah. God, I'm so old. I feel so old. I oh know, my God. Know. And Nigerian music has come a long way. So you have those people who are kind of projected Nigerian pop mm. in a in a different style to to the you know to the forefathers of you know where Nigerian music mm. actually started from from the King Sonia days, yeah. the Obeys, you know the uh, Ike Dairos who mm. were almost like the originators of Nigerian high life mm. but you know Nigerian music has moved very rapidly you know into the 21st century and along the way there's been a journey which has been absolutely tremendous I mean there's so much music out there today that if Nigerian historians began to record what has happened over the last I'm not even going to go that far last 20 years mm -hmm. in Nigerian music they would have a story to tell. Okay, so let's let's rewind back to the last twenty years. Who are those? Okay, so we know the likes of uh, Sonny Ade, the likes of Obey, Commander, Ebenezer Obey, Sikura, Inde, Barista, Kwamwan. We can't, you, you can't, you know, not Shino mention Peters, them. Don't forget, Shino, Shino Peters. Ah, I'm afraid you just Shino Peters. I'm gonna go razz on you right now. You don't want me to. We've talked about Shaman. We've talked about uh, LD. Mm -hmm. Those who are able to, move, who have been. Uh, very relevant as in you know pioneers mm -hmm. in the current or the last four the fourth generation. So third who, generation. Yeah. Third generation. Mm -hmm. Sorry, third. We're talking about fourth, which is you know, okay. So yeah. currently the fourth generation. If, in the current generation, we have people who are relevant in Nigeria and who are relevant in the UK, and people who are relevant in the UK and in Nigeria are not necessarily on the same page. Mm. The Nigerian songs tend to be more current, uh, and they probably first kick off being popular in Nigeria before it gets, before they become popular elsewhere. Yeah, also, yeah. So we 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 in the UK are kind of lagging behind slightly in terms of popular commercial music. Mm. Um, in in uh, how in could we be? We when we have social media that we can. I, easily I know. Think. I don't know. It, it, it's been like that for a, for a while now, but you know that's the way that's the way it plays out. So tell me, give me names, give me names. Names, of, me. names of people who are relevant in the UK. We have David Doe, we have Wizkid, we have Orisha Femi, we have Timaya, we have Two Face, uh, we have um, Tiwa Savage. What's Two Face have... still doing on the list? Isn't he meant to be like an old fogey from the third T generation? What's he no, doing T here? Two Baba is still still relevant. Two Why Baba. Is why are we saying two Baba, you know, being through Why are we not talking about Eddie Montana or whatever his name is from Remedies? How come two Baba can remain relevant from then to now and because, not the likes because, of the leaders because, of Remedies? Because Two Face is constantly churning out music. If he's not busy doing his own uh, music, his album is coming out so very two, soon. So two Baba is, is the answer, is what Alibaba is to comedy. 
Tubaba is the... Well, I don't know much about comedy, but Two Face is so, definitely... So late. <laughs> Two Face is definitely still relevant in the music industry today. Both as, you know, from what he's done in the past and for what he's doing now and what he's going to be doing in the future. Okay, so, so aside Two Face. Yeah, so Two Face, Timaya, um, I mentioned uh, Davido with kids. I mentioned Shantizu. Shantizu. Yeah. And we mentioned Tiwa Savage, obviously, Dr. Sid. You know, Sue Lere is, is doing very well with Sue Lere at the moment. We have the Prince. You know, we the have, Prince? We have Wande Deco. Yes. What's my goodie bag? Hello, oh, my goodie bag. <laughs> you don't know goodie bag. But he also has some. He has Twerk It. Have you heard Twerk It? Have you Twerk, twerk It for them? Twerk It. You know, I there's some. <laughs> there's some. No. There's some nice. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's some nice songs by Dr. Prince. I mentioned Tiwa Savage, she's doing, but there's some new kids on the block like, who are beginning to, they're already popular in Nigeria, um, but they're beginning to become relevant here. There's Orisha Femi, um, whom people don't know. He sang a popular song. Orisha too. Femi is probably in his 40s. It doesn't matter. In terms of his exactly music career. Please, we talk about fresh blood. <laughs> In terms, of his, is old. in terms of his music no disrespect, career, you know, I love your voice, but we're <laughs> talking about young, Vera. you know, Orisha Femi. Then we have uh, Pato Rankin. Pato Rankin is very, he sang a fantastic song with Tiwa Savage called Gelio. It's a very, very nice song. Okay, um, for me, for me, right, those who I consider to be relevant and would hopefully still be relevant in a year or two. Davido, I love you. Skelewu, Aye, oh, I couldn't ask for more. Whiskey, that boy cannot do any wrong. I mean, Whiskey is one boy that would continue to reinvent himself. I'm telling you, that guy is going to be relevant even in 10 years' time. It's going to be like the Sonade, Sonade of our generation because. We said that about Nice. I never said that about Nice. We did. When? We never said it on this recording. <laughs> you know, Nice is good. Nice, I have to give him props. Nice could easily be something you know what two face is but i don't know what's do you, happened do what you happened think do you think of all the artists we've named so far do you think any of the four generation artists yeah. have an evergreen song apart from two face let's move two face out of the picture because, evergreen. because Gongwaso, Kutu, Pao, i think that's evergreen Gongwaso is evergreen yes that, without a doubt yes. well i'm talking about fourth generation nice is not fourth generation artist he is you know he's he came out in 2007 so he's yes. fourth generation he's, he's third he's the no he's fourth <laughs> he's, the, he's in the same league as yahoo okay let's say third generation yeah, yeah third generation oh, yeah, third fourth generation. generation do you know of any artist who has an evergreen song maybe you're not at the top of my head right now but there are i, I actually think if, okay maybe if, brimo oh, brimo did you yeah? say Brimo? Oleku. No, not Oleku. You know this new song? Oh. Which one? Hey, very, very. Uh, it was such a very heart warming. It's not even heart warming. It's, it's very. It's a, an in depth song. A song that makes you think deeply. Oh, I can't remember. But so many songs, absolutely bro. brilliant. But well, I actually Brimo. think that in this fourth generation, someone whom will have a relevant song, right? Is Shantizu. Shantizu, do think, you know what? I think no, Shantizu. Do you know Shantizu Shant 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 has been has been you know some some say Shantizu is just very repetitive, and you know while the songs are catchy, but really when you look at it, it's mostly chorus. You know, beauties again, da 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 da, do 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 do, you know, and all of that. That's what he sings, and then shele kole kole, and then mama ye, mama mama. He's saying over and over. But, but over the fact of the matter is that shole kole, shole will always. Not evergreen. Uh, it's not evergreen. Time will tell. No. Time will tell. Gongwa is if, evergreen. If song, if one song. Street credibility is evergreen. If one song is going Party to be. Party rider, evergreen. Yeah, but those are third generation. Yeah, but the evergreen. You know what? No, evergreen means it will transcend all era, every generation. Yes. I think I personally, like I, I, it's, my, it's my opinion, right? This is my opinion yeah. that Shantizu Shole, of all his songs, will, go, will, will, will be an evergreen song. That will probably be the only song that he will have that will go great. But that song will be really evergreen right. is like something that your mom you listen to and it will still like that, that song, younger that someone song, who that song. Nah, is, Shantizu is not ever. Sean waiting. That song. Forget will, that one. You used to be a huge fan of Shantizu. I, I am still a huge I, fan. I think that song will be no, evergreen. I love Shantizu. It's probably. If I, if I have to pick between him 
um whiskey and david o i'll pick him mm. because his songs just i just i can just always get up and dance to his songs and because he has this yoruba trying to eat as well i like yoruba stuff as well so you know that maybe you can call that one but so <laughs> yes i love i love that one time will tell i love that but yeah it's not it's not everything. then um someone else that is probably worth mentioning is dami crane now dami crane i really don't know who that is can we speak that idea why because you don't i don't know him. him he's not popular dami crane is not popular he's not popular well, as i said no. You know, this is this is the, this is what I have to struggle with. It's you guys who focus on what you listen to in the UK. It's not popular. And, 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 and we no, that no, we listen no. to what Move on. comes out in of Nigeria and we don't you know, know that we're for now. Let's tell him to try harder, eh? Okay. So now we've talked about the guys. We focus so much about the guys. What about the girls? The girls we have well we obviously we have Tiwa Savage. Yeah. Uh, I'm not quite sure what happens with Moshe that she's gone particularly quiet, but we have Muna. We have Shay Shay. I love she, that she, girl. She, that she's, girl is going to go far. She's, she's coming up. She sang oh. a song with Pato Rankin called Murder. I'm that is a love Pato song. Pato Rankin is actually quite good. And he's one of the emerging. He was almost like a whiz kid when that green was on the, well, on the I don't scene. Know who Pato Rankin is. Well, you don't know now, but you will with okay. time. You will with time. I'm sure he's going to pay you after this. <laughs> no, no, no. You know, I'm. I, look, I'm I'm not focusing on the artist. I'm focusing focusing on the music. Okay. And from what I've heard from Pato, Pato Rankin, he's very good. All right. So the females. Is that the females. Now? I mean, uh, the, you, you know, apart from the the sort of the second generation with second generation artists, um, Sasha. Yeah. Um, you know, those that come to mind right now. Yeah. Uh, as I said, Tiwa Savage, Shay Shay, Muna. Uh, we have That's the girl that won the Miss Nigeria. Yes. Uh, How she, are, are people really taking her seriously? Because from transitioning from being the most beautiful girl in Nigeria to I mean, she sang, think she she sang was, one song which I can't remember the name of, which was very good, um, and uh, I haven't heard from her since. So I'm not quite sure what's happening, but I think she's still in the scene somehow. Oh, you've forgotten. Uh, Mama G? No, no. Yeah, Mama G. Do you know who that is? Mama G. Yeah, there's Mama G. She, she's... Okay, I don't think she's like she's singing now, but... There's another okay. girl I'm trying to remember. Her name escapes me now. It's something right, to they're, do with G. They're, they're not so many... They're not a lot. How about Omotola? Does she sing? Of course not. Omotola sing. She used to. She's a Beyonce. I thought. I thought. Oh, Nigeria. I thought. I thought. Like, has gone into you? acting. I thought she's. How dare you? Acting. How about Jennifer? The singer. Yeah. You didn't know. You didn't know. Yeah, like, I don't know about her singing. The, the, okay. the only actress right. singer that I know is Tonto DK. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not quite sure where that's so, going. So how about Tonto DK? She's, she's never to be the first lady of the band record. The band D B whatever it's called. Uh, I won't be able Do you to think she that. can take on Tiwa Savage as the first lady of Maven Records? Is she not in Maven? No, Tiwa Savage. No, Tonto DK is the first lady of DB Records. I don't think. I, I, from, from what so I've heard, going to be I don't know if this is true or not, folks. But I heard that there's a likelihood that Don Jazzy and the band may get back together to make music. Don Jazzy, please don't don't mind that guy. <laughs> Leave him. You're making big money. You're doroing everywhere. So don't. Oh, Don Don yes, no, I mean, please, I'm team Don Jazzy, you know, <laughs> the band, and I think you're the team the band, but me, I'm team Don Jazzy, eh? eh, contact me later, we'll sort about social the <laughs> plug, yeah, anyway, so, you don't think Toto DK can, you know, tackle no. to no. I don't, no? no, are you sure, no, but this girl is fine, though, this girl has the look, she could be the Rihanna, and Tiwa could be the Who? Beyonce, Toto, okay, no? I don't know. You're not convinced. I'm not convinced. Do you know what I think would have been really good? Don Jazzy, you know what? You really messed up. No, not Don Jazzy. Uh, what is your name? The badge, yeah. You really have messed up. I think if you're taking Shay Shay as the first lady, that would have been a brilliant competition for Tiwa Savage. It would just have been to that. Because, see, I think Shay Shay is the only one who can take take on Tiwa Savage and win. I had, a lot, of, I had, I had a lot of faith in Moshella, but she's gone quiet. Moshella is a rapper now. She's gone quiet. No, she's, she's very dynamic. She's very dynamic, but I don't know what's happening. She's gone very quiet. She kept, she came up with a song recently called Dusty Nambari. <laughs> but I don't know. Is she going Indian now? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so this is, you know what? 
we don't really have enough time to talk about this, do we? <laughs> no, it's no, just we don't. such an interesting topic. And you know what? It's going to it's going to leave you. Know, we we're still going to have so much more to talk about because music is just ev it's just ever present, isn't mm, it? It is, and it just evolves. New news comes, you know, from especially in Nigeria. It's just very very exciting, Terry. Yeah. So, but this is where we're going to leave it today, Aki. I'm sorry. I know you were really you're just, you were just warming up. I was just warming up. Yeah. I, I, I'm actually going to do my video favorite video. Oh yes. Oh. How can I forget that? <laughs> so, Aki, time is, you know, not our friend. But we can't go, really, without asking you, what is your favorite media, video of the current time? Right now, my favorite video, without a doubt, of at the current time, yeah. is the David Doe and Mafiki Zolo uh, song uh, called uh, Good Life. Good Life. Great, great, great tune. I don't really know much about that tune. So, can I talk about mine now? Not that yours is was that interesting. Oh, we're gonna play my tune to end the show. So you know. We'll see. Whichever one it sounds, you know. <laughs> let, let's let's see. Okay. My favorite video of right now is Shantizel. What's that song? How does it go? Which one? The one I was singing earlier. Shantizel. Which one? He has so many. The latest one. The one where he was singing High Life with um Oh Komole. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sing the tune. I can't sing. Oh my days! I sang it earlier, didn't I? Shanti zu yet, you tunes again. Do do do. Please, 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 don't, don't, don't sing. I'm a better singer than you. Just keep the don't hate. I know. Don't hate. Anyway, so I get to pick two since I'm the host of the show. All right, and then I can't really end the show without my favorite, my other favorite artist, David O. He sung Aye, and of course. That's true. The one he sang with Reminis. <laughs> uh, follow watch that in me. Oh, I always moved to that tune. So that's it for me. But as he's the guest, I'll let him have his way. And we're going to go out. We're going to we're going to go out with David Doe and Mafi Kizolo. Uh, good life. That's it. So viewers, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Next week promises to be another fun, exciting package for you. So stick with us. But as we leave, we leave you here with Davido and Mafiki Zolo.
male, stendi male, stendi male, stendi male. Think that a people do for money. Think that a people do for money.